name is May. May. Yes. Uh, sorry. From Nina's agency. What do you mean by you can do everything or anything? I mean, I can cook, clean, do the laundry. That's that. enough. I just want you to know that the kitchen is going to be your most important office because I love to eat. I will not disappoint you, sir. Ugu! Ugu! Sir! Hi. Dr. Ugu reporting to you, sir. Show it to one of the workers' rooms. Show, sir! Follow me. Thank you very much. You know how I do, Mr. Classic Man. <laughs> um, Zed, let me call you back, yeah? All right. Bye bye. Yes, sir. So, are you ready for the tour? Yes, I am. Come with me. So, um, this is the kitchen. There's everything in this kitchen. If you want to change utensils or whatsoever, let me know. I'll give you money to change that. Okay. Also, I'll get you a menu for you to check and show you what food to cook at what particular day and what particular time. Are you okay or am I moving too fast? Uh, no, I understand you. Okay, good. Uh, please, food, day and time. Very, very important. Yes, sir. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay. okay good. Thank you.
I can't believe you failed on your first test. You said you can cook. Yes, sir, I can. Oh, you can cook? Then what is this? What is this? Sir, it's, it's food. I, I mean, I tasted it and it's, it's nice. Oh, really? Sit. I said sit down, don't make me repeat myself. Eat some more. Eat this food. No, I don't think you need this. It's nice, right? What is wrong with the food? Yes, your agency just sent me your file, and I see that you're a graduate, but not a single experience as a cook, not even a day in kitchen school. Tell me why I shouldn't fire you. Sir, please, please, please don't fire me. I, I would die if I lose this job. Get please, up. sir. Get up. I said, get up. I don't like repeating myself. Get up. Please. Please. Sir, please. My entire family depends on me. I, I cannot truly really cook. Just that my, my hands slipped today. But I promise I will, I will do better. Please. You can stay. Promise is a strong word, Miss May. Yes, Why sir. did you choose to take this job? Uh, you could have gotten a job elsewhere. I mean, you have good credentials. Sir, you know how hard it is to get a job in this country. I looked, I looked everywhere before settling for this one. It's okay. Thank you very much. Uncle Ugu. Uh, Ugu, Ugu, baby. I don't have time to waste. I have just to clean the house. Go, 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 wait, come. come. What kind of food is this? This food is going to waste. <laughs> See the meat, Steve. Small food like this with small meat. Where the meat? How can give me this small food to make a job? This guy don't get respect to me. Because I don't get elders for your village. Huh? Ugu. Uh -huh. Are you really asking me that? No, if I'm not asking you, who are you to ask? 
Huh? Because I'm a security for here, and a security job is very, very challenging, tasking, and scolizing. If I not chop well, I will take catch. Huh? They're locked. You have to do anything, I just asked. I am not being defensive. You asked if I've seen those curves and edges, and I said no. Besides, I have taste. <laughs> Look, buddy, this has nothing to do with taste. It's about petty desires and you satisfying yourself. In between those curves is a gold mine. And if you're not digging it, buddy, I will. No, 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 Zed, you are not digging nothing in my house. That is my maid, and she works for me. You can play your games immediately you walk out of this gate. This one is mine. Yours? Yes. No, she works for me. I mean, she's my maid. <laughs> Stop putting words in my mouth. Look at you. I knew it. You knew what? Come you know on. nothing. Admit it. You fancy her. I don't fancy her. The only person I have eyes for is Sophia. Not my maid. <sighs> okay. You are even more boring than I thought. Thank you. Let me continue to be boring, okay? If having fun means chasing girls that have curls and big boobs or edges, then please, I'll pass. Okay, whatever. But I'm still gonna dig her, though. <laughs> I tried to kiss me and chill the fuck out, man. I'm here to see me. Meh. Nobody can say meh for this compact. But this is the address she gave me. <laughs> now you won't tell me people where they live here. I thought it's nobody can say meh for this compact. Go go the other side. Go the other compact. I believe it's a meh the other side. Okay, let me call her. So I do like. Do you like? Call president. Mama Oga. Oga Ramsey. I'm going to give me that one. I never anybody enter inside this room. Ah. Ah, sister. Wait, what's going on here? Ah, oh, she can't say she didn't find them. I can't say men don't stay inside here. Because she took the other company. Please, you could just let her in. Could you just come? Can you just get my name? No! 
so it's hard that you. I'm not a gate man, no. I'm not a gate man. I'm the chief overseer of this company. The chief commander. What are you doing here? Stop. Eh? You should have welcomed me first. Welcome you to where? Does this place look like my house? Oh, sister, sorry. I'll be calling you. You refused to pick my car. I got worried. I'm sorry. You just you should have sent me a text. Eh? Look, I don't think my boss will be happy to see you here. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, can I at least go inside? I have something I need to discuss with you. Hmm, please. Okay, fine. But you have to make it very quick because I don't want my boss to come and meet you. Just, 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 just leave me. You don't have to. Joy, you know when you're looking so fresh. What's up, Mama? Ah, she's fine. She sent her greetings. Okay. So if Mama is fine and there's no emergency at all, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sis, eh? actually, it is a kid sister emergency. See, when I was going back to school, Father gave me only ten thousand naira for textbooks. That includes my transportations and my feedings. See. Things are really bad at home. Rejoice. Hope you know I just got this job. It's barely two weeks. I have not even been paid my salary. Ha. You just have to go home. Manage what Papa gave you. Once they pay me my salary, I will I'll send you money. <laughs> That's my kid sister. Rejoice. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. I see you have a visitor. Yes, sir. So let me uh, have no, you. No, it's fine. Let me let you ladies be. Alright. You live here alone with me. Yes. Why? Are you serious? Is he married? No. Why are you asking these questions? Hey, is something going on between the both of you? Tell me now. Because I saw the way he was looking at you, sis. Rejoice. I think we are done. Stop wait now. Stop wait. Stop wait. Well, I was very exhausted from work. I slept very early. It's mm -hmm. nothing. Oh, and uh, your sister looks as responsible as you. You can visit her. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm.
life idiot? Who is that low life idiot? Please, I, I'm, I'm very sorry, ma'am. You're sorry for what? Look at my dress. Please, I didn't know you were standing there. You did not know. What's going I'm on sorry. here? I'm so sorry. Baby, who is this? That's the new maid. Look at my dress. Look, look, at, look at the low life thing. You're sorry. And I'm supposed to just accept I'm going like that. Baby, can you please calm down, okay? What were you doing? Ugo asked me to wash the car. Ugo asked you to wash this car? Don't worry, I'll do it later. Okay? Please, okay, I'm sure it's an accident, okay? Look at her. She's sorry. No life from nowhere. I'll pay for it, okay? You better. Ugo! Ugo! Sir! You there, Chris? No, sir. Are you mad? No, sir. Why did you ask her to wash this car? No, no, sir. She said she's not emotional. She told a light day without working. She's allergic to staying without work. So I said, make she wash the car now. She said she's staying emotional. So you said, make she wash the car now. Oh, emotional. Forget that on my side. No, sir. Rubbish. Sir, please, I am very sorry. It's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. Just drop that thing and leave that car. What was that about? Are you being serious? Can't you see what she did to me? Is that why you have to insult her like that? It was an accident and she apologized. You should be supporting me. Yes, you're right. I should be supporting you, but only when you're right. You were wrong. You don't look down on people like that. Look, I don't even understand what you're saying. That girl ruined my dress. Just take a look. And I bet she doesn't even know how much this dress costs. Every single thing I have on cost millions. Even her two year salary cannot even compensate for it. So please. I did not want to reprimand you in front of her. You were wrong and you apologized to her. <laughs> Are you joking? I'm serious. I won't do that. I am not asking. It's a must. Like I said, let me know the cost of your outfit. I'll give you a check. for the way you spoke to her earlier on? Oh, oh, yes, um, me. I'm very sorry. For? I'm sorry for what happened outside. You don't have to apologize. I, the truth is that I wasn't looking, so but I promise to be more careful next time. It's okay, but you know, we can be such good friends if you don't mind. I don't mind. I would really love that. Okay. 
Sophia. Ah, I'm not a monster. Okay, we'll see about that. To friendship. To friendship. To friendship. To friendship. Hey. <laughs> Clothes for you. I want you to have them. I don't understand. Wait. Um, Since we're friends now, and I wanted you to have some of my clothes. I mean, they don't even fit anymore. So, and you have a perfect body that would fit these clothes. So, wow. You're very beautiful, and. They look really expensive too. So you can say that again. They are very expensive. You know, Ram and I um, bought them when we traveled. I think some of them we bought in Spain, some we bought in the UK, some we bought in the Caribbean. They are very expensive, but they don't fit anymore. I want you to have them. <laughs> you want me to have them? Yeah, sure. You have a perfect body. We're friends now. You it's... mean all of them? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. What friends. Thank you so much. Just look well. I'm sure you dropped them somewhere you don't remember. Clothes are not needles. I've not taken any clothes out of this bag. I'm sure someone stole them. We don't have a thief in this house. And I'm sure if somebody entered here, Ugu would have seen that pressing. How well do you know me? Are you insinuating that she's Well, we don't live with any other person in this house, do we? 
will not be ridiculous. May is not a thief. Right. She's not a thief. Can we just search her room? No, 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 no. We are not searching anyone. Why are you so trusting? Why? I'm sure she stole those clothes because I saw her sneak into this room in the afternoon. Sophia, it is late. Can you go freshen up and come to bed so you can continue this tomorrow? I'm not coming to bed until we search that girl's room. Okay. Suit yourself. This is not fair. This is not fair. How many times do I have to call you to get your attention? Sorry, sir. I've been very busy inside, though. Busy doing what? No, yes, sir. Did anybody enter this compound yesterday? Yesterday? No, nobody come here. At their gate, nobody pass. I told you. Nobody enter here. I told you. Let's go and search her room, please. How would you know if somebody enters this house when you're always absent-minded? Get out of my sight. No, sir. So, what now? We go search her room, right? Ugu! Sir! Come here. Ask me to come to the living room right now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ask me to come to the living room. I said we search her room, not calling me to ask her any stupid questions. Can you be more civil and allow me to think? What is wrong with you? Maybe you did not hear him very well. What he means is, did you steal my clothes? Move, not steal. Move, slipped. The same way your hand slipped when you poured dirty water on me. Sir, I'm... Sophia gave me some clothes yesterday. That was when you were at work. Sophia. What is she talking about? She's lying. Me. Me. When? Why are you doing this to me now? Sir, yesterday, Sophia called me to her room. And then she gave me some clothes. She said I could have them. According to her, she said she bought those clothes abroad. And I am still with the clothes. I haven't even tried Why them yet. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? What did I do to you? Eh? And I tried to be your friend though. Now she's lying. I didn't give her my clothes. <laughs> Don't make things difficult that it already is. Just keep quiet, okay? She's Can you just keep quiet? clothes so she wouldn't have the chance to defend herself like... when she said that you bought these clothes abroad I knew she was saving them. She's lying. Why are you believing that lie over me again? This is not fair. What is not fair is you stooping so low to have an innocent girl thrown out of this house. Mother, 
again, eh? You will not like what I will do to you. Let me just hear you make a sound. Rejoice. That your school is in the city doesn't mean you can visit me often. Do you want to get me fired? I know Mr. Ramsey is a nice man. He won't just fire you because I visited him. Mm. He's a nice man. And how do you know he's a nice man? The one time I saw him was in love for me. We forgot I read people's mind. And the psychologist says, Eh? Yeah. Mind reader. Oh, yeah, tell me what's in my mind. Mm. Okay. You want to kill me? Ah. You're not far from it. <laughs> you are really not far <laughs> from it. <laughs> now tell me what brings you here. It not. And it had better be important. Else I will kill you. Morning, please. Why didn't you call me? <sighs> eh? Please. I also want to know how you my favorite sis is doing. And check if she has fallen in love with. Don't be mad. I mean, what is that? <laughs> Sis, with Mr. Handsome now. Can't you cold? Are you like 10? <laughs> okay, rejoice. You need to stop romanticizing my relationship with Mr. Ramsey. Mm -hmm. He is my boss. And what we share is a boss and an employee relationship. Nothing more. And in case you have forgotten, he has a fiance, Sophia. Who currently lives in this house with us and is making my life a living hell? Fiance, why do I feel wounded? Sis, you both could make a perfect couple. Maybe in my next life. Obviously, not now. <laughs> I don't know what Mr. Ramsey will be doing with a girl like me. What do you mean by a girl like you? See. Obviously, you're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met. Yes. What do you want to eat? Because I want you to go as soon as possible. You want me to I don't like the fact that you're here. Since I just arrived. What do you want to eat? Anything. Go make it quick away. I'll be right back. And don't do anything stupid. No child. <laughs> Since. So, what did you do? Well, I have to side with who was right. I say side with your fiancé. Nope. She played dirty. I wonder why Sophia hates her so much. I mean, May is such a sweet, likable person. Sweet, huh? So you do like her? No, I don't like her. Why are you so shallow? When I said sweet, I meant she's a nice person. Look, man, the more you try to hide your feelings, the more it just rattles out. Come on, buddy, admit it. You like the girl. I like her as a person and nothing more. Okay, fine. Look, what Sophia did was uh, wrong, but I think I understand where she's coming from. She just probably feels threatened by May's presence. Okay. Just against someone's image because you're being threatened. I know she, that was a little bit extreme, but let me tell you what. You want a drink? I yeah. know a place. Mm. Lots of women. Fair, dark, short, tall. Whatever you want. Women, cut me out. Oh, I'm a <laughs> Just drinks? Yes. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Why did you have to touch me? 
Six money and never a job. Did you give me any money to keep for you? No. Did you give me any money to keep for you? No. I did. I did. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Go buy a good job, eh? Always, sir. Thank you, sir. Why did you have to give me that money? Did you see how happy he was? And so? They are supposed to work, not lazy. To be a blessing to other people. Huh. Yeah, hello? It's a failure. Yes. Hey. Sophia. Hey, it's been a long time. I don't do hugs. You know, these clothes are very expensive and I don't want dirt on them. Sorry about that. So, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here with my fiance. Sorry, my husband. Oh, we're here to do some shopping. Well, I was not aware of you, you know, being married. Well, you'll never know because our wedding was strictly by invitation, just for dignitaries. The who and who in this country was in my wedding. Oh, so, congrats. Thank you. You don't look good. What happened to you? What do you mean? I mean, your clothes, they look so cheap. Your skin, I don't know. Hello, ladies. Oh, Hi. My, Hi. that's my husband. Nice to meet you. Um, so Ramsey, good. Kate, Kate, Ramsey. Nice to meet you too. You know, Kate and I go way back from secondary school, oh. even to university. She was such a bright student. Wow. I saw her as someone who was going to be very successful, but too bad she ended in a very bad marriage. And look at her now. Sophia, I am not in a bad marriage. I am happily married with two adorable Kates, and I'm very successful. Thank you for acknowledging that I was a brilliant student. You know, nobody ever accepts that they are poor or doing badly until you see them begging in the street. But I will be a very bad friend if I see my friend and not help her. Sophia, it's enough. Can we go, please? Okay, you know what? Let me tell you something. You know, Ramsey, my husband here, and I, who fly for class, he is a multi-millionaire with connections with who and who in this country. So, it would be a very bad thing if I see a friend of mine and not help her. Uh, actually, have all of them, okay? Here. Yeah. Thank Just, you. Yeah. And um, here, this is my card. Call me if you need more money. I will be always willing to help, okay? Sure, yeah. I will. Please. Thank you. Don't be a stranger, okay? Bye. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Do you want to embarrass me? Let's continue shopping. My friend, leave me alone. What's wrong with you? Don't talk to me. To me, seriously. Actually, it is the least in my garage. You know, some, sometimes some of us don't like showing off. Kate, I'm really sorry for how mean I was to you in there. I'm sorry. Why? Sophia, you don't owe me an apology. Rather, you need to work on yourself. You're so condescending, and and you have always been. It is completely wrong. You don't, you don't need to look down on anyone. Rather, you should find reasons to be grateful. That the money I took from you in there, I took it because you don't get richer by rejecting people's offer. Anyway, it was useful because I bought my husband a pair of shoes and a bow tie. Thank you. 
All right, bye. See you some other time. Miss, are you okay? Please don't ask me. It's not like you care. <laughs> of course I care. But wait, remind me again. When did we ever travel out together? Are you trying to make fun of me? Why would I want to make fun of you? But why the lies though? I don't like it when you go around telling people that I'm rich. Who's the big deal? I mean, what is the big deal? I just don't like it. I'm a very private person. You of all people should know that. Please just leave me alone. I hope you like the way she spoke to you. Hmm? Massage if you don't mind. Oh, uh, I don't mind at all. Thank you. She does it better. You don't want to know. Ah. 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 Do you want to break my neck? Take it easy now. Ha. Huh. What are you doing? What is this? Is that, is that massage? What do you want? Massage my shoulders. That is what I'm no. doing. You want? You want to drop me? It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Hey. Okay. Mm. Seem a little distracted. What's the problem this time? It's Sophia. No relationship, no problems. And you ask why I'm happily single. Zed, this is not funny. I know that. Remind me again. How many girls are you dating? Really? I lost count over the years. <laughs> See? Typical Casanova. Cheers. <laughs> cool. What's yours to do? What's the problem? Sophia is something else. She lacks compassion, she brags, she's a liar, 
should have seen the way she treated a beggar the last time we went out. At that same supermarket, she met a friend and she said mean and awful things to her. And did you know that this friend is actually doing good for herself? She gave Sophia a sweet clap back. Mm. Said, I want you to be very honest with me. Am I making a mistake? Oh, honestly, man, that is a question for your heart. You just need to ask yourself what exactly you want. Hmm? She's, she's moving too fast. You know, asking her to move in with me has made me see some sides of her that I never knew. You know how me and Jane went now? Yeah. I don't want another failed marriage. Good man. If that's the case, then you just need to show her who is in charge. Take what you want, man. You're the man. Right now, I don't know. Look, whatever you decide, you have my full support. I'm right behind you. Okay? Cheers. Right, cheers, man. But I'm still gonna play other women. Really? <laughs> I'm never gonna stop. This one is 100 naira. Yes, it is. Okay. How old are you? I'm 15. Why are you not in school? We don't have money. And where are your parents? My dad is late, but my mommy is the woman selling food down the street. Mm. I would like to see your mother. Because you need to go back to school. You can't be working at school hours. Okay? The truth is, I don't really have much, but I will see your mother so you can go back to school. Ramsey, good day, sir. Good day. Um, I'll be buying everything on the train. Why are you hawking? Are you not supposed to be in school? We don't have money, but I think I promised to pay for my school shoes. Um, I will give you some money to go back home, okay? okay sir. Please, take this train and empty this train. If I give you this money, go home. Huh? Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you, sir. This is for you. Sir. Tell Ugu to open the gates for me, yeah? All right, thank you. May, I overheard you talking with the uh, watermelon seller. Okay, um, Nena. Yes, you were saying that you want to use your paycheck to pay for the school fees. Yes, sir. But your paycheck is not enough. If you take money out of your paycheck to pay her fees, you'll be left with nothing. Sir, we don't need to have much to help you. I mean, I am in a better position than them, so I would help in any little way I can. Hmm. Okay. Um, can I help too? Sir? Yes. From today, anything that has to do with her school fees, you tell me. <sighs> oh my God. Mr. Ramsey, thank you so, so much. It's okay. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You're, you're so amazing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm really hungry. Have you made something to eat? Oh, yes. I will just set the table. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. He said a glass of water. No, he said a glass of juice. Then you are deaf. Take this in. I said a glass of water, not juice. Please take this in and get me a glass of water. Where did you get it from? I got it from the dispenser. 
This water is very dirty. Look at it now. Oh, oops. Sorry. I can't sleep. Now, get something and clean up this mess. Please hurry up. Get something and clean up this mess. And get me another water, please. Now. And anyway, I don't want another one. But the next time I see you look at Ramsey, or as much as touch him, what I will do to you, you will be shocked. This is a note of warning to you. I don't need another water, but just have this in mind. I have a flight to catch. I have a very serious meeting in Abuja. Okay. And now, uh, May. Sir. I just want you to do anything that will irritate Sophia. I'll be back in two days. I'll do my best. Okay, good. Uh, sir, huh? I was hoping if my sister could come around for the weekend. You know, they're on break, and instead of going home, I could really use her help around here. Sure, that's fine. Thank Please. you, sir. Don't forget. Do anything that would make Sophia complain about you. Help me when my bag is upstairs, yeah? Oh, I'll be in the car. All right. Hmm. You found the mummy's of here. 
Please, how long did Mr. Ramsey say that she stayed? Uh, well, he didn't say, but I told him till weekend. <laughs> well, I will spend the rest of my holiday here. I go nowhere. He's my hero. <laughs> when did he become your hero? That is food talking, I not you. <laughs> I will show her that phone boys. Who is this? What is she doing in my kitchen? Um, this is my kid's sister, Rejoice. Mr. Ramsey said she could stay for the weekend. He did not tell me that. Get out of the house this instant. With all due respect, ma'am, I am sorry, but she goes nowhere until Mr. Ramsey says so. He is my boss and you are not, so I take orders from him. So my kid sister goes nowhere. Are you challenging me? No, me. You are challenging me. <laughs> this will not go down well with you, you know, right? I am the one Mr. Ramsey is getting married to. So I will make this house a living hell for you. Sis. I'm so proud of you. You just put time. Look, look, you just have to be very careful in this house. Look, I don't want you to get into trouble. Please don't go about snooping around. We have boundaries in this house and you have to maintain it. Okay, if you're going to stay in this house, do not get into trouble. I will try. May, how long is this going to take you? <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> From the look of things, it doesn't look to me like you're almost done. I'll soon be done. Now. Please get me a glass of water. Okay. Like you have a lot of work to do. You are nobody, and I know how to keep people like you tamed. Looks like you have a lot of work to do. Well, hurry up, meet me in the kitchen. You have five minutes. She has been getting on my nerves. <laughs> if I play her games, she's definitely going to lose. When did Mr. Ramsey even see her, sir? See, Mr. Ramsey is too good for that woman. I hate her! That's a very strong word, Joyce. See, seriously, if there is any word stronger than hate, I will use it. <sighs> Mr. Ramsey should just come home. I miss him already. I said it. I always knew you like him. 
Don't you have a debt in my life? <laughs> well, I mean, things are much easier when he's around. And I miss the way you called me doll face. Mm, doll face? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Checking if you have a doll face. <laughs> but seriously, I I miss him. I mean, have you seen his body without clothes? I mean, it's so dreamy. I could watch it all day. Someone is in love. But it doesn't matter how I feel about him. I'm just a slave. So? If you like him, go for him. Get him for yourself. I will support you. You know, some things are not just meant to be. I like the fact that I work for him. And I don't want to get fired. Don't consider me. Doesn't matter. Mm. Let me see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Chicken. to have for just make sure your dress is cinched to your shoes everything is on point for the turn because we're shutting the whole place down like girl you're not even ready for what is coming you're not ready please can i talk to you what nonsense is this can't you see i'm on the phone i know it will only take a second wait let me call you back you have one second I meant the cupboard empty and I want to cook. Okay, your time is up. You can go now. Look, I know I asked for a second, but can you at least answer me? Okay. I moved everything from the kitchen. There is no food for you in this house. I gave an instruction. I asked you to tell your sister to leave this house, but you flaunted my orders. So, there is no food to for the notice. Are you being serious right now? I mean, this is not right. I know. But we we'll pay you well enough in this house. So, if you are hungry, Go out and buy your food. Buy whatever you need to cook with. But for now, there is no food for you in this house. Hey, well, when was the last time you had a bath? Because I don't like the stench coming from you. You stink, girl, please. You stink, girl. Hey. Don't tell me that this as big like this now. Who know that this has? Yeah. Cause I don't boss with that. So cause me, I the hungry. I never chop this morning. Calm down. You're not the only hungry one here. So we've not eaten. I don't know why you. For the talk, not the put mato. So this small pinch charger. I will change that for you. Your left seat like this is involved. See, uh, Mr. Ramsey will be coming back tomorrow. So I suggest we contribute money and cook. Yeah? Hmm. My man, I can never pay me since last month. Even this month, I never see shish. It's not just shish for pocket. Though. Yeah. I put but but why 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 Madam Madam Sophie the wicked like this? 
That is because she's a wicked witch. Rejoice. A uh, wicked witch like you now. I haven't been paid my salary too, but I have some money, so let me get it so we just get fruit and manage. Oh, yeah. Let me. I know say for this ass, somewhere, somewhere, the bread hides somewhere. Bread is this ass, somewhere. She moves everything, everything. Hey. I'm not happy. If not for God, then I would have dealt with that woman. <laughs> I will surely deal with her. Let me go and get the money. Yeah. yeah. How did you even find out? I just saw it now, Wikipedia. Oh, I, I didn't know. Okay, now you know, eh? Let's plan a surprise party for him. How? Make him a cake or we prepare his favorite meal. It's a good idea, but... Well, you know I don't have money right now. You remember that girl I told you I plan to send to school? I'm actually saving up for that. You told me Mr. Ramses promised to help. So why are you not asking him for money? I don't want to add to his problem. Ah. I can spare a little money for his birthday. Yes. But what if Sophia is already planning something? Forget her. Do your own. Because I don't have a good feeling about this. So. Hmm. I feel Sophia will be mad if she finds out. She's already a mad woman. She's always mad with or without this. She will always be mad. Sister, Mr. Ramsey is your boss. You have every right to do anything for him, anytime, any day. Huh? Are you sure about this? Yes. Hmm? All right. comes back before him. This surprise will be real. That's my fear too. Oh, oh Gaffi don't get us then. Shut, Shut up. up. Oh, go. Huh? Must you always talk nonsense? No, there's sometimes when they think we tell the talk, you don't send back, just talk like that. Can you no, ever be serious in your life? No, yes. Did you did you leave the gate? I don't look at more. Yeah. I don't look. Guys, so much. This this actually means a lot to me. May I don't know what I would do without you. I mean, you take care of this house like it's your own. I really want to thank you for that. Ugu, sir, my soldier. I'm not there, sir. Thank you so much. Wow. So um, it's time to cut the cake, right? Yeah, let's cut the cake. Okay. Let's eat. Um, yes, sir. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> wow, you guys, you guys, you said wow at the same time. 
Um, so you, can I make a wish? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, yeah, Jomi, hold it. Let's, let's, let me help you cut this cake. Okay. Yeah. Come here. And um, three, two, one. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> so I get the first bite, right? Mm -hmm. This is my birthday. Okay. Woo! Mm. What do you think? Very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, you know, no, take a bite from here. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mm. Who made this? Did you guys make this? Uh, I made this, but my sister and Ugo assisted me to. Wow, this one. This, was, this is really nice. This is the best. I'll mm. be booking for my wedding cake. Yeah. It will be an honor. Uh, uh, this one, don't pay attention to me. <laughs> never takes any woman serious, trust me. You will be shocked if I could even marry me if she accepts me. Uh, wine? <laughs> wine? Yeah. yeah, wine. Sure, wine. Um, <laughs> stay here. I'll you be like it, right? No, sure, you can do that. Thank you very much. Damn. Let me help you. Me? Don't fall asleep at the gates. You better not fall asleep on the gear, right? <laughs> yeah, just try to get it off. Okay. We're almost there. Okay. Am I to pop it or somebody's gonna pop it? It's my birthday, right? It's your birthday. Yeah, let me just pop it that way. So happy birthday to the boss! Ramsey! So guys, I would love to give a toast. Cheers to Ramsey for being an amazing boss, a friend, and honestly the best man I've known my entire life. So uh, it's Ramsey. Cheers to Ramsey. Ramsey. So uh, yeah. Mm. What's going on here? Oh babe, they had a surprise birthday party for me. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry and I forgot. I'm so sorry. You planned all this? Yes, we did. Thank you very much. Yeah? I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I even forgot my own present. Can you buy it? It's okay. More wine. Thank you so much. Mm. 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 Right, so nice. innocent and trying to impress Rams. To what end? You would never have anything to do with a low life like you. What's with the neutral parties, massages here and there? Look, you're wasting your time. Are you threatened? What? You heard me. Are you threatened that this nobody will take your man? <laughs> Don't think so highly of yourself. I could get you out of this house with the snap of my finger. Then go ahead and do it. I mean me. You should fire her. Why should I fire her? She's such a nice person and I need her around. 
You need her. What for? You don't need her. We don't need her. Wait. What is going on? What happened when I was away? She doesn't have a single respect for me. She doesn't even take orders from me. That does not sound like the May I know. That is because she has you fooled with her innocent looks. You are too trusting and people like her take advantage of your weaknesses. Sophia, I will talk to her tomorrow. So you can't just fire her? Do you know what time it is? I'm trying to sleep. Hey. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, can I please have a glass of juice? Okay. I was going to bring it up to your room, but I want to finish filling this. Oh, it's fine. Let me get it for you. Sure. You have something on your face. What? Yeah, no, let me help you. you thank go. you, thank you, sir. Hey. Good morning, ma. Where have you been? I went to pick some groceries. May could have done that. Not anymore. I'm taking charge of my kitchen. And I'll be cooking for you. Oh, that's that's good. But we have company. Since when did you start caring about company? Behave yourself. Don't you understand? Please take that food and go out of this place. Hey, wait. Have you eaten? No, sir. Call your sister and join us. Please, they can eat in their room. Hey, I said call your sister to this table and let's eat together. How do you expect them to respect me when you disrespect me in front of them? Enjoy it. Enjoy the two plates. 
success. Also, I can use this to buy Please let me be. It's time for you to choose between me and that stupid foolish girl you call me. Do not make me choose. Why not? Because you're going to regret my choice. Then I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere. Stop this! What's wrong with you? You can't stop me. You think I'm stupid. You think I'm oblivious. But it just makes you look careless. Do you know how many times I have caught you in compromising positions with that girl? What are you talking about? In the kitchen earlier today. You were trying to kiss her. Yes, I saw you. In the living room the other day, the way you were mourning at her massage. I saw all of these things, but I chose to keep quiet and keep a smiley face for peace sake. But I think that was not enough for you, or that is not enough for you. Let me just think. Sophie, can you just calm down? Don't do something you're going to regret later. Okay, look at me. Look at me. I am sorry. You're not sorry. You are never sorry. What do you want me to do? Just tell me and I'll do it. Marriage. Marry me in a week. Then I'll know you're serious. In a week? Yes. But that's too soon. You said anything. <sighs> See? Wait, can you start? Why are you packing your clothes? What's wrong with you? What do you want me to do? What do you want from me? Sis, are you okay? No, I'm not. Sophia is really fine. What if I get fired? Sis, he's tired of so he's not a man anymore can tell what to do. He gets to me. What did you say? He kissed you? I knew it. I've always known he likes you. Well, I thought so. Until he apologized. He said it was a mistake. Rejoice. I love him. I really love him. I mean, from the first day I stepped into this house, I fell in love with him. His charm, his unloving personality, his charisma, his comportment, everything. I'm just scared that he may never be mine. No. For you to get you to need something. I was wrong to think that a man like him would like anything in me. I should get ready. Mr. Ramsey and I have somewhere to go. Can we come with you? No, we won't take long. Yes. <laughs> Okay, no need to apologize. Just get in the car. I'm coming to you. Get in the car. Sophia, Sophia. We have something very important to attend to. This is not a time for this. I'm also interested in the very important thing we have to attend to. Please get in the car or we'll be late. Get in the car.
How are you? Samaritan bought all our watermelon the other day. Chai. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma, we are here because we would like Nina to go back to school. Eh? Yes, I mean, she's too little to be hawking. She's supposed to be in school. Actually, I'm not proud that she's here with me. Since the death of my husband, I've been turning the kids all by myself. Does, does she have siblings? Uh, um, yes, yes, there are four. But the younger ones are in the school. Then I have to drop out to, to help me since I could no longer carry the load. Wow. Um, okay, it's, it's okay. From today, your four kids' school fees, I'll take care of it till they get to the university, okay? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sir, I don't know how to begin to thank you. Thank you so much for what you did for them. It's okay, it's nothing. Sir, you're very kind. I mean, you're a very generous man. I was so speechless back there. I mean, that was too much. It's okay. You know you're a very strong, beautiful woman. Your optimism is infectious. You know, your good qualities rub off on me. You really think highly of me, don't you? Oh yes, I do. You know you should have discussed this with me. Our wedding is in two weeks. You just decided to do this without even letting me know. I knew you were going to kick against it if I had told you. And you did it anyways. I'm sorry, okay? You know, I feel this is the right step for me. But I don't know why I feel so empty. And I don't want to make the wrong step too. You know what I went through with Jane? Yeah. I want to be loved genuinely and not just for my money. I get it. Well, if your heart is not with Sophia, then why do you want to go ahead with the wedding? I guess my conscience. You know she's had that ring for two years. If I cancel this wedding, it's going to be crazy. No kidding. 
But you see, the thing is, she has also changed a lot in the past two years. Look, man. For the first time in your life, you need to choose you. You need to do what is best for you. You just have to be happy. You know, I kissed her. I mean, May. She's so loving. She's likable. Mm -hmm. The way she looks at me, the fire in her eyes. I mean, she fills my whole house with passion. The longing in her voice tells me how much I mean to her. Well, just like you said, she's likable. Honestly, the other day at your house, the little conversation we had, it changed my negative perspective towards her. She's one of the good ones. Look, you're a strong man. Hmm? If you don't want to do this stuff with Sophia, call it off now before it's too late. I don't know. You don't know what? It's complicated, bro. I want what's best for Audrey too, and not just me. You get my drift? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But seriously, though, what were you thinking engaging her for two years? <laughs> what the fuck? Really? <laughs> You're doing this again? Two years is a long time. I know I said I was not going to set my feet into your house again. Compound. You said you were not going to step your foot into this compound ever again. Those were your exact words. Ramsey, you are the worst. You know you're still in my compound, right? I didn't come to stay. Audrey will be staying with you from now. These are her things. I'll be traveling abroad with you. And from now on, she'll be staying with you. Baby, anytime I come back, I'll come as soon as possible to come and pick you, okay? Now, let me tell you this. If you leave here without her, you will never set your eyes on her again. Ramsey, don't forget she is my daughter, and you can't keep her away from me. Try me. I'll try my best, sir. I know you have a lot of questions to ask about her mother. No. No, uh, it's a personal matter and it's none of my business. You deserve to know. Why? <laughs> just the pain. You're not just the pain. You're more than that to me. You deserve to know if you accept to be her nanny. Jane and I were once married. Oh, I see. It wasn't working, so we had to go our separate ways. But Audrey is my jewel. I love her so much and I trust her. She brings some hands with you. I will take care of Audrey. That will be all I have work to do. Oh, uh, man. Wait. Sir? Did I do anything wrong? You, you seem distant. No. 
Nothing, you did nothing, Maxim. What is with all this Sarah, Sarah? Is everything okay? You're my boss. Uh, like I said, I will look after Audrey and I will also take care of this house. But I don't know for how long because I submitted my CVs to some companies. Oh, right. They do this thing like this. We look for the quarrel. No. Mm. Me, I don't like quarrel. No ma, you know me, no 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 one. Today is your lucky day, so enjoy. Okay. Hey. Uncle. Huh? There is something I want to ask. I am. I know that this kind of food not go pick up freely and just like that. What do you mean that? How long have you worked here? Don't tell. Mm. Don't tell. Don't work here like um, 30 years. Mm. That time, a uh, small matter is still very small like this. So, uh, how about Oga's former wife? You know, Madam Jane? Uh. Oga and I make person talk about that girl for this ass. Why? She don't be better person at all. What I wish she did. Eh? Every day in a fight. And to the Joshua and Tyson food, now they separate every day. War zone. Mm. Let me tell you. So, she, now she live Oga? Abi, now Oga for sure? No, oh, that be she live Oga. Now Oga for sure. Because that time when me and the former mate there, I think she's going to deceive us. The carry man, the condis us. They tell us na na her cousins. One day, I'll go and go work, come back early like this, catch them. So I got to push them. Push them. They call the days they do the remote, they do the remote. We don't know. They do here. Okay, now enjoy your food then. Thank you. Oh, come on. Why do you ask me all this question? Don't you know? I just want to know the person I work for. Mama, are you sure? What's that? What? Okay. Huh? Huh? After everything we've been together, um, don't you think it's high time you started calling me by name? Me. Ah. Uh, yes. You don't like me, baby. Is that one the more sweet of me, baby? Oh, me, oh, me. Oh, sorry. You like me. You don't like my sweetie. Ha! Me. I can't do this. I cannot babysit another woman's child. It's too much for me if you are too much. Baby. Nobody is asking you to babysit. May is here to do that. I just want you to get along with her. If you love me and want to be with me, you will love her too and be a mother to her. Take a good look at me. Take a good look at me. Am I not too young to be going through all this? Look, babe, I love you. But that girl does not like me. This is too much for me. And if you cannot accept her, you break up with me. Look, you have obligations to me too, your wife to be. Honey, both of you are my responsibilities. That is why I want this to work. Please. Okay. But I've not forgotten how she burnt my wig. And I know how, that, how much that wig cost me. I am going to talk. That girl does not like me. Things are going to change. I promise. Just trust me. Okay. 
So, May, I was told you bake really well. What do you want? Okay. You know our wedding is just around the corner and I'm just coming back from meeting with the vendors, the DJs, the caterers, the decorators, and the whole thing is just weighing down on me. You know, my Ramsey and I want to make it a grand celebration. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I still don't know what that has got to do with me. Okay. We would like you to make our wedding cake. Actually, Ramsey insisted that you make our wedding cake. I would have gone for a more professional person, but he insisted that you make a cake. I would do it if you ask nicely. Okay. Meg, would you please bake our wedding cake? No. No? Yes. So why did you make me beg? I will not bake your wedding cake, Sophia. Order from the professionals. So you made me beg for nothing? Exactly. Come, you did not see me. You did not see me. You can't greet me. No. Greet me. No. Come and greet me. And I said no. See this model. If I slap you. Sophia, what, what are I you doing? I was just holding her. Can't you see you're hurting her? Are you okay? Are you alright? I don't like her. She ain't a good person. I don't like her too. Hmm? You don't always have to show people how much you hate them. Just wave and put on a big smile. Okay? I'm sorry. And don't disrespect anybody, okay? Look, 
you don't have to move your ears when you're dancing. Okay? Okay. And I'll be seizing this for tonight. Okay, can't sleep without my tablet. Okay. Um, how about the bedtime story? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I'm too old. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, really? You're not a kid, right? <laughs> You're not a kid. How are you? <laughs> You're not a kid, right? <laughs> You're not a kid. <laughs> now tell me, who is a baby? <laughs> <you? laughs> who is a baby now? <laughs> Oh, let me not stop you guys. I can see you guys are having fun. Go ahead. Dad, can you imagine? Just tell me a bedtime story. <laughs> That's nice. And she says she is not a child, but she can't control herself when being tickled. Wait, I don't think anyone can control themselves when being tickled. Is that so? Uh huh. <laughs> Audrey? What's <laughs> good? One. Just no, that you lost. never. This is two against one, and it's not a fair game. It is it's a fair not game. Not a fair game. Okay, Audrey, she doesn't want to admit that she lost. Let's give it to her. 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 let I am season this for tonight so you can sleep, okay? Okay. Sleep tonight. Okay. Get some sleep, okay? Okay. Um, Good night, Mr. Ramsey. Um, did I say something? You didn't realize you called me by my name and not sir. Sophia today was horrible. What if she hurt herself? She just wanted to give her a little dose of her medicine. Yeah. So what makes you different from her? You're not even remorseful. Oh, I already apologize. You already apologize. You're leaving tomorrow. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Sis, please don't do this to me. Well, I'm also leaving. I got a job in one of the companies I sent my CV to. I am resuming work on Monday. Okay, but I'm not so sure about this. Now, what kind of question is that? Mm. Am I better as a maid? No. Mm. Well, you should be happy for me. Yeah, um, but that's not what I need. I, are you sure you want to leave the guy? He has made his choice and he's getting married. I have to move on too. We should start again. Like you stayed up all night. Yes, uh, I had a lot of work to do and my back really hurts. Uh, if you don't mind, can you give me a shoulder massage? No, sir. That's Sophia's job and I wouldn't want her coming in, seeing me touching you. She could kill me. 
It's fine. She won't do anything to you. I'd rather not take the risk. Okay, so what's up? Uh, you know I told you I applied for a job. Mm -hmm. So I got a job in one of the companies I sent my CV to. Oh wow, that's, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. But that was really quick. Yes, uh, I'll be resuming on Monday and I have okay. to leave tomorrow. What? Wait, you're leaving tomorrow? What makes you think I'll let you go like that? Huh? What would I do without you? You have become very important to our lives. I can't just let you walk away. I will double your salary. I will, I will double whatever the company is paying you. I can't stay. Why? Is it because of Sophia? Is your sudden decision because of the wedding? You love me. Is that it? Yes. Yes, I love you. I mean, I can't, I can't watch you be with another woman. I have loved you from the very first day I set my eyes on you. And... And what? The kiss. I thought it meant something. But I was wrong. I mean, what would an almighty Ramsey want to do with a maid? You know you're wrong to consider yourself just a maid. You are incredibly smart and beautiful. But the kiss, it meant a lot to me. I've been fighting the urge to do that over and over again because... Because of Sophia? Now the both of you are in the same class. No. I was not going to say that. I wanted to be sure. I wanted to let her go without breaking her heart. She has been with me for two years. And... I don't understand how just a few months with you, you, you know me that well. I love the way you are with Audrey. Please, stay. Don't go. And Sophia. I will call off the word. No. I don't want to be the reason for another woman's pain. Just go ahead and do the wedding. I will just go. May. 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 Daddy, do we really have to be it for us so that? I don't know. We have to manage this until May comes back. Is she ever coming back? No. No. Your stepmom, Sophie, here, will be taking care of you from now on, okay? Ah, why are your faces like someone died? Come on, eat up. Better not be rude. Hey. Don't you ever shout on her like that again. She needs discipline. What nonsense discipline? What she needs right now is food. That is what we are going to get. Difficult to decide on the number of rice meals to use. I'm thinking 
seven or ten, maybe. To add color. Ram. Yes. Are you even listening to me? Yes, I heard you. Okay, seven or ten. Seven or ten what? Ram, I cannot do this alone. But I'm here with you. Okay, my bridesmaids. Do as you please. I mean, it looks like you've got everything under control. Fine. What about you? Have you made any arrangements for the groomsmen? No. Just one. All is there. Well, suit yourself. As for me, I'm going downstairs to order dresses for my bridesmaids. If you need me, you know where to find me. Or just give me a call. I couldn't stop her from leaving. She's the only woman that has loved me genuinely without any expectations. So what are you going to do now? Your wedding is in three days time. I mean, it's not too late to make things right. I don't have a clue. I don't know where to start looking. Her number has been off ever since she left the house. Right. Uh, what about what about the agency that sent her? Maybe they will have information about her. It's useless. The father they gave me has her old address. You mean her sister? Yes. Uh -huh. Her sister, rejoice. I, I, I don't have a number, but I can get it. You can? Then make things right. See why you're my friend? <laughs> Joyce number. Joyce. May sister. Yes, I get her. Let me have it. Uh, okay, I don't get her. Okay, I don't get her. Okay. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Go here. Uh, 010 uh, 33 422 531. She's going to kill me if she finds out that I met with you. Don't worry about your sister. I can handle her. Okay, but why did you insist on coming to this call? I would have just messaged you the this address. Um... I wanted to give you this. You and your sister left in the hurry and I didn't give you anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. You're welcome. Mm, okay. Thank you so much. Um, Sir I'm saying? Yeah. We never saw, please. It's okay. Alright? Alright. Alright. Alright, thank Bye. you. Have a nice day. You too. other than sleep, eat, and play games. And you repeat the same lazy routine the next day. 
Your father and your useless mother have, have spoiled you silly. Oh, my mother useless. Hmm. And if I do, what will you do? Hmm? Useless. Useless! Come on, look at her from there. How did you find me? And what do you want? You. I didn't ask you to say it. Oh, I... I'm sorry. <sighs> you look so different. I miss you. I can't stop thinking about you. And what makes you think that I won't find you? The wedding is tomorrow. You shouldn't be here. I have made a decision. And that is to end it with Sophia. Are you insane? Why would you want to do that? Because of you. Because I am in love with you. I have not loved anyone like I love you. And I'm not ready to sweep my feelings under the bus because of someone who literally doesn't give a damn about me. I'm glad to know how you feel. But it's too late. Your wedding is tomorrow. So it's it's better you go and prepare for it. Please leave my office, I'm very busy. So you you're just gonna let it go without fighting? Fight. I simply want you to do the right thing. I don't want you to call off your wedding. You said you would do anything for me, right? Go and prepare for your wedding. I will forget about you. And I expect you to move on. You don't love me? Do you love me? No. I don't love you. Why Sophia? She's upstairs. Why is your outfit wet? What's going on? When I came back from school, she didn't prepare any food for me to eat. She forced me to walk and what? she even abused me and called my mother useless. Um, Audrey, just like that up right back. Sophia! Sophia! Tell me why Audrey has not eaten till now! I'm so 
sorry, I forgot. I've been very busy with the whole wedding plan. Hey, 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 now you listen to me. Stop with that stupid wedding plan because there's not going to be any wedding. I cannot marry a woman who is so abusive! You're joking, right? Does it look like I am joking? Does it look like I am joking? Wait. You want to cancel our wedding because of that spoiled brat? You're leaving my house. You are leaving my house. about me. That low life, dirty, stinking maid. Yes, you're right. It is about me. That stinking low life keeps me sane. That stinking low life makes me happy. That stinking low life completes me. And I'm so crazy about her. What do people say? What will I tell my family? My Instagram fans. What will I tell you? Can't look, you can't shame me like that. It's okay. Leave my house if I do something stupid to you. Get out! doing here? Today is your wedding day, right? I called it off. You did what? Wait, please. Before you say or ask anything, I just want you to know that I didn't do it because of you. I did it because of me and my daughter. I gave Sophia so many chances to change, but she was bent on ruining my life. you come back to me. It's going to be just the two of us against the world. Only if it's going to be us against the world and not just the two of us. That is if my little damn self here will be part of it. Of course I'll be part of it. Right? Yes. <laughs> it will be us against the world. 